Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid the leader subject of this article is Insulin Toxicity Demystifies the Metabolic Syndrome. You probably have heard the term the metabolic syndrome regardless of where you live in the world today hundreds of times in the newspapers, on the television, from your doctors. Now, if you have had some chronic health problems and you've been visiting some doctors or you have a general slight interest in the study of human health at the scientific basis, you probably have heard it thousands of times. If you happen to be a student of human nutrition, you have heard it probably tens of thousands of times. But what is the metabolic syndrome? Now, if you ask uh, an obesity specialist or an endocrinologist or a cardiologist or a professor of nutrition, let's say at Columbia University in New York or New York University in New York, how do you measure well, they will talk about the cholesterol and the triglycerides and the, the, the C-reactive protein and talk about the weight and how to, but ask them to be specific. Ask them what is the commonality in all the things that you're talking about, the metabolic syndrome, the weight, excess weight or weight gain or obesity or association with hypertension and their blessed lipids, cholesterol. Then they are going to hem and haw. They might talk about insulin resistance and then you ask them, but what is insulin resistance? They will say insulin doesn't work. And then you ask the question, why doesn't it work? And they will shrug because they have no answer. On the other hand, if you look at insulin toxicity and ask the same question to the same professors, that if you have too much insulin, so-called hyperinsulinism, is that present? When you talk about hypertension or heart disease or obesity or the problems of the lipids, they will have to tell you yes to varying degrees. Now, there are two companion articles. The number one killer in the world, part one, and the number one killer in the world, part two. Please watch them. And then go on to watch another segment called the seven stages of insulin toxicity. And then the fourth one I would recommend is Dr. Ali's plan, diet plan to reduce insulin, which means conserve insulin, make your insulin work efficiently so you do not develop hyperinsulinemia, too much insulin, or insulin resistance, which means insulin is not working. And there I explain to you how insulin toxicity develops. Basically, it is caused by grease buildup on the cell membranes, caused by toxicities of foods, environments, and thoughts, which immobilize the insulin receptor. Now, the reason I keep coming back to the insulin toxicity in so many ways on this encyclopedia, because there is no other way you can understand these things. There is no other test which is so easy to do, which is quantifiable, which is reproducible, which is verifiable, which is testable as insulin toxicity. Healthy people, peak insulin value done over a period of three hours should be less than 25. Many of my patients have a fasting insulin level of less than two and the blood sugar may be 80, 85. When people tell you that, oh, I want to keep my fasting blood sugar less than 85, that is a disservice to you. That is, that person is dummifying you. When people say, oh, we were going doing to do A1C test, well, that's a one test, that's a good test, but I will tell you that there are too many times when you are insulin toxic and A1C test is completely in the normal range. So when somebody in New York Times or C-SPAN or CNN or your doctor talks about A1C, but he doesn't talk about insulin toxicity, he's also dummifying you. I know those are harsh words, but how do you jolt people? Dummification in health information is the primary threat to the human mind in the world. 
And that is why I have more than 70 segments on insulin toxicity. Insulin being the minister of metabolism and energy to the oxygen king of human biology. That's, a, that's basically a simply stated view of the evolutionary design of the human body. Thank you for joining me and please do join me again. Thank you.